Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video will be a full body intermediate workout and we're going to be focusing on unilateral work today. So let's get started. I'm gonna be on one medium spring. Go ahead and adjust that on your reformer now. And then I'm going to face my shoulder blocks in this kneeling position. From here, one hand on each side of my frame. So I'm gonna walk up pretty good space and my gaze will be down towards the floor so I have that long neck. Draw and scoop those abdominals in right away. I'm going to straight arm, pull my carriage in. I'm in this flat back the whole time. <sighs> Slow on that return. And again, right before that carriage hits the stopper, pull it in. <sighs> my dog is coming to say hello right away. <sighs> and return. This is here we start. And return. Pulling it in. And return. Scoop out those abdominals flat back. Nice deep breaths here. You're gonna start to feel those lats engage. Fire up a bit. Here for five, four, keep those knees behind you. Here for three, last two, make sure you're pushing away from those shoulders, and one. Don't bring that carriage all the way back to the stopper to send it back a bit. Now we're gonna crunch, scoop, round in the spine. So now from the hips, crunch and round. <sighs> Send that carriage back, getting into those abs now. Crunch and round. This is our warm up. <sighs> now we're rounding a bit. <sighs> Drop that gaze a little bit more. <sighs> For eight. Seven, six, scoop, good, here for five, not here for much longer, four, stay strong, nice grip on that frame, three, two, and one, walk it back, little stretch in those lats, drop the chest, Child's pose, and roll on up. Okay, perfect. Now that we're nice and warmed up, we're gonna stay against those shoulder blocks. I'm gonna grab onto just my left strap to start. So here we go with that unilateral work. I'm gonna choke on up just a bit above my straps. Right hand behind my head. Squeeze those inner thighs, getting engaged. We're tall in that spine. Drop that tailbone, tight, diaphragm in and up. Here we go, we're gonna pull that strap behind us, lock it in, and thigh stretch. So hinge from those hips, lean back into it, and release. So we're really breaking up that movement. Straight arm sweep, pull back first. Then hinge from those hips, tuck that chin a bit, squeeze those glutes, and release. Deep breath here. Lots of spinal stability. Short but spicy movement. And lean. Nice and long. Restack, pull it in. You're gonna feel those quads fire up. Deep stretch in those hip flexors. Pull it back. Right back in, release. Last three. Good, and two, just like that. Nice and long and strong. Whew. Little shake happening. Last one, pull it back. Thigh stretch, hinge, restack, pull it in. Good, 
All right, we're staying on that left strap for a bit now. Left hand, or right hand, sorry, comes down into my headrest. Left hand has my strap. Send those knees behind you. So now we're in this nice, strong tabletop or quadruped position. Knees under hips for the most part. Push away from that right hand. Bring the left to the side of the frame. Straight arm pull, reach, fist to hip. If it goes higher, that's okay. And send it away. Punch, nice and strong. If this gets too heavy or you feel like you're compensating, just choke down that strap a bit. If you feel like you can go heavier, choke up. And pull, nice and strong. For seven. Six. Nice and slow on that return. Here for five. Right into that lat, those arms are gonna fire up. Four. Three, I can feel this all the way down my arm already. Two. And one. Good, release. Just getting onto that short strap now. So choke down a bit, short strap is in hand. We're gonna uh, high five that arm or that hand all the way up to the ceiling, pause. Triceps now, so just bending the elbow, don't let the arm drop. Press back. And press. Nice, check in with that crown of the head, nice and long. Push away from that right shoulder still, six. Here for five. Four, let it burn. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Whew, that arm whew, on fire. Okay, so taking that left strap now, we're gonna give that upper body a break, put it into the left foot. I'm gonna bring both hands into my headrest. I like my fingers on the side of my headrest, but you can have them placed down also. So whatever feels best for you. Bring the right knee now to the middle of the carriage. So it's gonna give us some space to take that left leg, drop down towards the floor, nice and long, pointing that toe as if you're gonna draw a nice straight line across the floor and sweep up, <sighs> squeeze that glute and drop. If your foot is scraping or hitting that floor, as you drop it, open up the hip a little bit. It's gonna be more challenging, but it will give you more range. Long, clean lines here. If this is dumping in your wrist, you can always make a fist, okay? So protect those joints. Do what works for you, listen to your body. Stay scooped from those abdominals, pushing away from that right hip. Here we go for six. Nice deep breath. Five. And four. Hi, Luna. Three. Last two, squeeze. Drop, last one, pull it back, bring it in. Both knees meet that carriage. So we're gonna change up the arm position. Right hand drops down onto the forearm now. I like it behind the shoulder box because it gives me a little stability to press against. And then we're gonna uh, take the other hand to the shoulder block, down onto the headrest, whatever feels comfortable for you, okay? Sometimes I switch it out. Right knee is still in the middle of that carriage. We're gonna open up the hip now. So it's kind of called a hydrant almost. And then we're gonna open, as we open up that hip, stamp and kick that foot away. Bring it right back in, don't let the leg drop. And kick. And press, good, nice and long. Pushing through that heel every time. 
seven, <sighs> bring it in, six, nice and strong in that right shoulder, five, <sighs> slow, and four, here for three, <sighs> last two, press away, pause, layering on here, sweep that leg in front, so forward, and then right back. This is where we finish. Whew, take your breaks as you need it. This is where the glute is really firing up. It might even be in that stabilizing glute. So the opposite leg that's not moving. For six. Five. Here for four. Last three, good, keep it long, keep it strong. Two, and one. Now we can drop, bring that knee in. Nice job. Take that strap off, hang it up. Give yourself a little stretch of any sort. Roll up those wrists just a little bit, and we're gonna get right into that other side. So. Knees are against those shoulder blocks again. We're gonna grab onto the right strap now. <sighs> Getting nice and tall. Choke on up a bit, whatever feels good for you. Left hand behind that head, tailbone down. When you're ready, reach the arm long behind you. <sighs> Thigh stretch. Squeeze to lift and release. Same thing. Pull it back. Deep breath and release. Nice and strong spine. I take exaggerated breaths for a reason. So I'm setting energy and oxygen through those muscles every time. Here for four. See how that shake happens in that breath when you exhale? Good, right back in. Last two. Pull it back. Good, stay strong here for one. And restack. Nice job. All right, taking that left hand down now, sending those knees behind us again in that tabletop position. Left hand is into that headrest. You can always make that fist. Okay, knees are under hips. We're gonna get nice and stacked. Right arm is long towards the floor, strong in that elbow. So reach long behind you, fist to hip, and release. And reach, release. Nice and slow on that return. So that's where that spring really wants to boss us around. Don't let it happen. <sighs> Always slow on the eccentric movement. So the return of a lift. <sighs> Good. Here we go for six. Nice. Check in with those abdominals, scoop them out. And five. Four, last three, two, and one. Bring it in, little roll out of that right arm and then right into that tricep. So pushing away, I'm gonna get into that short strap again. High five the ceiling and tricep, just bending the elbow, punch and press away. And press. Here for six. Five, really squeeze that armpit, let it burn. Four, almost there. Last three. Two and one. 
Nice job. Whew, arm again, all the way down. You can feel that. Okay, we're gonna take that large strap again, put it into the right foot, and we're gonna get into that other glute. So, my hands are into my headrest. My, now my left knee is gonna scoot more towards the center of my carriage so that my right leg now has room and space to drop down towards that floor nice and long, creating a long line like I'm scraping across the floor and reach up to lift. Make sure you really scoot that left knee over towards the edge so you have space. Squeeze to lift. Strong core, really push away from those shoulders. Only drop down as far that you can sweep it up. First seven. Six. Here for five. Four. Good, nice and slow. Squeeze that glute, stay tight. Three. Here for two. Good, last leg sweep here, pull it up, bring it in. Nice job. Okay, left forearm now comes down against those shoulder blocks, right hand either on the shoulder block or down onto your carriage, whatever feels good. I'm gonna open up that right hip now for that hydrant, knees in line with hip. Flex the foot and stamp away. Right back in. There's full body stability happening here. Upper body is working. Glute is nice and tight on that press. Lots of hip strength here. Not letting that leg drop. Seven. Six. Five. Here for four. Last three, almost there. Two. Kick all the way out again, hold it. We have that leg sweep, sweep it forward and pull it back, push to those hamstrings. And pull, nice and long in that glute. Six, doesn't stay long. I am fired up. Here we go. Five. And four. Three, find a range that works for you. Doesn't have to be as big as mine. Two, still working. And one, bring it in. Relax that knee down. Take off your strap. Hang it up. All right, I like to get a few cat cows after a good round of hard work. Little reset here. All right, now that we're still facing our carriage again, we're gonna get into some planks. So, giving a little unilateral break. I'm gonna bring my forearms down, tucking my toes onto my platform. From here, I'm going to hover my knees, press out into your plank in three, two, one, go. <laughs> and press, nice and strong. <sighs> Scoop out the abdominals, push away from the shoulders. From here, I'm gonna scooter my knees in and out. Try to stay low with it. <sighs> strong abs here. <sighs> and press. Here for about 10 seconds, so go at your own pace. Last seven seconds. Good, here for five, keep it going. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Nice job. All right, got a plank number one in. There is going to be another one later. So I'm gonna turn around, 
sideways now onto my reformer. And I'm gonna scoot to the very back edge, so closest to my foot bar on my knees. Bring one hand to your foot bar. Come kneeling, nice and safe. I'm gonna extend the right leg now, nice and long onto my headrest. You don't have to take this variation. You can stay on the knees. Reach up for that long strap. From here, I'm gonna release my foot bar, bring the arm up overhead, making a moon-like shape over my head, tall in my spine. Already that strap wants to pull me towards my riser, so I'm gonna let it. Laterally flex, restack. And pull, moving from the oblique, laterally flex. Keep that head up and long. Proud chest, move from the spine. Six, five. Here for four, three, two, and one. Nice job, release. Grab that foot bar, bring that right knee down, carriage into stopper with control. All right, now my strap is gonna go into my outside hand. So into that left hand, close to my foot bar. I'm gonna squeeze my armpit and my elbow into my side, and we're gonna abduct out in that arm. <sighs> Close it up. Like you're opening and closing a window. <sighs> Don't let that elbow drift away. <sighs> if you want it spicier, go to your short strap, okay? So we'll do a few here. Good, small movement, but you are gonna feel this in your whole shoulder, maybe into that lat. Six. Five. For four. Three. Two and one, nice, release, roll it out. Good work. Okay, we're gonna flip around, face that foot bar now, tuck those toes against your shoulder blocks and reach for just your right strap again. So left hand is gonna stay on my hip, strap is in my right hand, and I'm going to reach long, single arms offering, right back in. Once you feel that stability and control, if you want to bring those glutes to a hover as you offer out, come kneeling, <sighs> layering on. Right back down, hover. <sighs> Pull strong and long. <sighs> That's blue. <laughs> and reach. <sighs> Here we go. <sighs> Six. Strong core, five, draw it in, here we go. Four, we got this, more than halfway through. Three, two, and one, pause. Flip the palm out now. Find a hinge from the hip, you can always bring it down to readjust if you need to. But we're just going to bend that elbow, back of the hand drops again behind us and press again with that tricep. You can never get enough. And press. Nice strong in that wrist. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Now bring it in nice and slow, hang it up. Since we're in this position, we're gonna go right into that other side, and then we'll get into that lateral flexion. So tucking those toes, right hand on that hip, left strap is in, or strap is in my left hand now, and we're gonna go for that single arm offering, left side. Bring it in. 
Try really hard to stay squared off from that chest. <sighs> Once you feel comfortable, if you want to add that squeeze in the glute, lift right back down. <sighs> and hinge. Bring it up. <sighs> One great thing about unilateral work is your weaker side is forced to work. That is why it's so important to implement unilateral work into your workouts. Six, five, four. Here we go. Last three. Stay strong for two. Let it burn. One, reach up, pause. Flip that palm now. You can bring those glutes back down to that hover. Drop the back of the hand and tricep press. Punch away. Six, five, here for four, last three, two, and one. Good, everyone. Bring it in, hang it up. All right, we do have that other side. I hope you didn't forget. So flip around. Kneeling back onto your reformer. And now my right knee is gonna to scoot towards the back edge of my carriage, right hand to foot bar, reach long with that left leg and extend, and then carefully, slowly reach for that strap in your left hand now. Once you feel stable, squeezing those glutes, both arms overhead for that moon, allow that strap to pull you for the risers, and then restack nice and strong with that oblique in that spine. Restock. First six. Five. Four. Three. Last two. And one. Nice, good spine stretch. Grab that foot bar, place your strap down, flip around to face your shoulder blocks because like I promised, plank number two. All right, tuck those toes back onto your platform again. We're gonna bring those hands down to the side of our carriage. If this is uncomfortable for you, take the forearms. We're gonna tuck those toes, hi Luna, and hover those knees, press out three, two, one. Good, nice and strong. I'm gonna add that shoulder hinge now. Press that carriage out to your deepest range. <sighs> right back in. <sighs> and squeezing those glutes, drop the hips towards the floor. <sighs> Scoop out and in, good. <sighs> 10 seconds here. Good, here for seven, shoulder hinge, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it right back in. All right, take those knees down. I almost forgot the abduction that we didn't do on the other side, so let's do it now. My apologies. Flip back around, grab that strap, put it into your right hand, squeeze the armpit, squeeze the elbow close. We're gonna get right into it. Abduction, opening and closing that window. Good, and short strap it is. Six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. There we go. <laughs> Once you do your lateral work, sometimes you can forget a side, but I remembered. If you remembered, we did it. Nice job. Okay, last thing here, flip around. <sighs> Facing your foot bar, we're gonna throw on a red. So it's one red and one blue. We're gonna lie down onto our back, finishing off with a little bilateral hands in straps, a little bit more arms and core. So we're gonna grab those long straps, make a fist overhead. One leg into tabletop, then the other, finding that imprint, tuck that pelvis, and we're gonna start just with a little press with those arms nice and long to the knees, and release, just right overhead. It's not a big movement. Actually, I'm gonna go into those short straps. There we go. Finish strong, right? And press. Really feeling it in those arms, deep in those stabilizers. Eight. Seven, don't lose that imprint, stay tucked. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it right over the chest, hold it. Alternate those toe taps now. Take one toe, tap down to that foot bar and switch. If you want a deeper range, pull the arms further down towards the knees, drop to the platform and switch. Ten. Nine. Drop those shoulders. They're going to want to creep up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Good. You can feel it even though we're not moving. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Bring the feet down. We're going to separate those arms. Little spine twist really quick and grand finale. Stack those arms right over the shoulders and legs in the tabletop. High five that mat. You're in that short or long straps. And reach long, sending energy out and away from you. Chest lift up on this next one. Kick out to 45. High five that mat, chest lift up. Keep with those legs. Eight, nice and long, point those toes. Seven. Six, stay scooped, here we go. Five, we're gonna hold this in four. Three, two, hold that connection, pump those arms for those hundreds. We're not going to do the full ones, but we're going to hold it here for a bit and breathe. Whew. Breaking a sweat. This is where we finish. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it, bend the elbows, tricep press. You got it. If you lost it, come back, meet us. 10, nine, eight, stay lifted. Seven, six, five, four, finish with a smile. Last three, two, and one, nice job, bring it in. Whew. Going out with a bang. Hang up those straps, little stretch side, two side. And we're gonna roll on up. And that is it for our unilateral focus, full body flow. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. If you found value in this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you very soon.